Okay, we're going to show you the easiest way to hang these. As you see on it, there's teeth up in the front, and there's kind of a push button in the back. Well, there's a push button in the front, but the front has these teeth. We're going to clip them right on the rail, push down on the back. Teeth in the front, clip down on the back. I say anywhere from four to six inches off the side. This is a really big blind, so I am going to continue to clip, and I'll probably put, uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put six on here, on that. So now that I have the six on there, what we do is we just make sure that if we pull it down and push it up, it's going up, stops, and goes up. They are perfect on where they're supposed to land. This side right here is what makes it go slower and faster. That side basically is just where the blind is going to stop. It's called the auto stop. So now what we do is we see how much room, as I told you important, how much room's up here. There's a lot of room, we'll leave them just like this. If there isn't room, we're just going to twist those a little all the way down and have it that way. You can twist them, do a uh, close up on this. We can twist them as much as that, that they're just barely coming up right against the rail on both sides. Okay. So, and what we're going to install them with is because there's a cabinet on this back one, we're going to install with an inch and a quarter drywall screw. Okay, so you see we have all our clips on. They're attached to this. We're just going to put it up straight up into the balance, right up to the top, and Make sure we don't, a couple of these are going to have to be turned because we're hitting the metal frame. So we're going to turn a few just so we don't hit that metal frame. I think we're fine now. Are you, mm -hmm. are you up? Yeah. Okay, we're up. Now what we're going to do is we are going to start as we hold here we're going to put a few screws in and then it will fold itself in so with her letting she put one screw in i put one screw in and it will hold itself until we get all the other screws this one's the most interesting So when you unwrap the blinds, just so you always notice, there's a little sticker here. This means it's 26 inches wide by 50 inches high, and it was built in 09. So that is the measurements are on that sticker. So as usual, we're going to take, this is a small one, so we're going to test. We only need two clips. We're going to go ahead and put our clips on. Turn them a little, and they are going to go right here in this window. It doesn't have anything above it. So we're using three quarter inch screws to screw our screws in. But because now we have the cabinet over here, we'll go ahead and use inch or inch and a quarter screws um, for that side. So what I'm doing is I'm checking to see that they work like I showed you on the other one and they work perfect. The only thing is is I'm going to want this one to just be right under this rail so I'm just going to go towards me a little. I'll probably lift this one up a little and this. Now it'll always stop in that position. Hi, 
hi this is a window that has the little drapery so what I do is I put an L bracket these are number four L brackets I use the same screws that they had in there for their other brackets for the mini blinds and then I just put this back on and screws I'm gonna find the screw hole that I can put this bracket in really need only one screw because it's just a little baby blind I'll put this one in and those are in if you notice the teeth are up front I'm going to take my blind, I'm going to put my teeth in, and snap it in. So I'm going to show you how to take a pleated shade out. What you're going to do is you're going to find the little um, bottoms. Take one out, take the other one out, now it's loose, you can work with it a little better. What you're going to do is you're going to feel up, you're going to look up in the balance and see if there's screw holes on these, but I can't see any screw holes, but I'm thinking these are up with clips. So I now can feel a clip in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat screwdriver and I'm going to get myself right between that clip and pop it out. And I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to clip that clip out again. If you see it right here, I'm just going to take it and kind of pressure it to get it out of it. hit the cameraman. What to do is take the clips out that are in there. Well these clips doesn't look like these clips are mounted straight this way. So I'm gonna have to get a tool to get those clips out. screw but not two day looks like there's another one and I'm using this handy dandy um, tool that you can get at the Home Depot or Lowe's and it just fits right on your screwdriver Okay, this is a Mobile Suites fifth wheel, and all Mobile Suites has a, um, a rail around their window, um, and the blinds have to be done differently on these. They have to be measured differently, so they have to be measured in this little um, window frame, and um, once you get that measurement, you would need to call me, and I could walk you through what you really need to order. But we are going to show you now, Jaylene is going to show you the kind of clips you have to use for the mobile suites. And so she's going to show you on how to hang a blind in a mobile suites. Okay, so here's the clip. It doesn't have the top part like the other one did. Um, it's just the one piece. We're going to you can see it has holes in the middle. We're going to screw in one of these holes. Right now I'm going to use the far back side. 
And I'm going to make sure that the teeth right here, if you can see those teeth, are facing forward. And then I'm going to put it right into the windowsill. So teeth facing forward, going to do that back hole. Just right in like that. I'll set it that out. I'll just cut it. <laughs> like, where's my spoon? Those we're one? usually using uh, one inch drywall screws. Yeah, you can see the one inch drywall screw going into the back with the teeth forward. And there we go.